Hi ladies, this is my first attempt at using OBS Studio to do a live video on YouTube. So uh, this is a bit of a tester. So, but I have some fun things to go over with you and show you and uh, some uh, things I'd like to share. What I'd like to do is go over to YouTube and see if this video is actually streaming there. And once I know that it is, we'll get going. It says live stream. That's not the one that I was. It is, we'll get going. Okay. It says live stream. There we go. I have it muted. Um, and I think it's working. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with this. And if it's uh, working, then great. If it's not, um, I tried and I'll know, I'll know better next time. But what I have here is I purchased and I'm so excited about it, but I purchased the, um, Tim Holtz alterations and dye and embossing folder and it doesn't really have a name that I see not sure but it's a butterfly so I don't know what the name is but the um, code for um, the item number is 659578 so if um, if you were to want to look for that that's where it would be or that's how you would find it I think I see somebody joined me. Hi. Hi, Belinda. Awesome. I was hoping that the chat would be working. That's why um, I was hoping to do this. Now, I'm up here uh, with my laptop, and then I also am down here with my webcam. So I'm just practicing. And it says I have two watching. So hi, hi, and hi. Yay. So look what I did with this new die I have. This one is just the cut. And I did two at a time. That was awesome. And then this one is after it's been embossed. Now, the really awesome part about this, you guys, I did it backwards probably. It could have been done better the other way. I don't know, though. I think both ways probably are cool. But what you can do is um, you can sand this. You can um, spray it. I don't know because I used, and I could just use the white side if I if I wanted. But hi, Jody. Hi, so much. That's so cool. I'm so glad to see you guys here. You see the picture in picture. I'm kind of getting the hang of it, and it's very delayed. So when I look over there, it's very delayed. But I'm just so excited. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Uh, this is an uh, open source program that it's kind of like GIMP, where they uh, programmers put this out there. You can use it. It doesn't cost you anything. There's no um, commercials or advertising. So I'm trying to get the hang of it, see what I can do with it. Because I really like the idea of you guys being able to see me and, and talk to you and do stuff with my hands. And so that's what I was doing. So this is the first thing I wanted to share and I was really excited about it. So I'm going to put that aside because I am going to be doing something with them. In fact, let me tell you something. This lady that I watched, she had a foil tape that she put on the back. And then she could, she rolled, she rolled these uh, wings and made it the... Um, like 3d it was just gorgeous so it had more of a um uh, a bend and a curve to it just gorgeous so i'm really excited to do some new things with that i want to have that kind of be a series where i do um, all sorts of different things i want to give whoever's here with me a little peek at the mermaid uh backgrounds um they're not completely figured out and my printer is really bad right now but these are the two um backgrounds for when i go uh layer up for the mermaid kit that's going to be coming out within uh about two weeks so that's what i'm working on those aren't jelly print pages these are images that i create digitally and then i will bring in the digital or the jelly prints um in another way so i think you guys are going to like it and I have some really fun um, images to put in there. It's it's just my style. You guys know my style. I'm kind of I don't know. It kind, maybe it comes out. I'm kind of a hippie, but I like the swirly the swirly colors, and uh, I just like it. That's the way I like it. So I did some shopping. I did, and I'm going to share with you guys something. 
I'm thinking about joining this and I haven't decided and I might wait till summer but Iconic Studios has a exclusive Tonic Studios die and stamp sets uh, or that's what you get but what they have is a monthly curated craft products uh, prepared exclusively for you and I'm going to keep this card because I'm really thinking about it although um, it's kind of spendy but I thought if we did it together that it would be really fun because we would get inspired by what they sent us that's the fun thing about monthly uh, monthly things like that but I was having trouble with um, my my watercolor brushes they, they I just didn't have good ones so I luckily got this set on sale uh, through tonic um, I paid uh, $7.79 and 12 nylon brushes. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm going to, uh, if, um, if, um, if, uh, Dale was here, I would tell her, I'm going to keep good care of them. I'm not going to treat them like I do the others. <laughs> um, I got these, which I didn't realize that they were so blunt. So I don't know if they're going to work for what I was hoping, but they were, um, they say fine control crafter snip. Now I probably should have known from the snip, but they are titanium. I don't know if that means that they will um, resist the glues and stuff, you know, like the black ones do, but um, they were $6 and I am a sucker for a pair of scissors. I love scissors. I just am addicted. If anyone else is addicted, we could start a scissors anonymous, okay? And I'll be the leader. So this is the last thing. And the reason I got this is because I am going, I have, uh, I'm going to have to do some things where I make my own glitter glues and um, uh, mica paints. And so I got this and this will scoop out just enough to do what I need to do without making a mess. Cause I normally just tap in my products. Yeah, I'm hoping, Belinda, that they're good for fussy cutting, but they feel weird. I, when I fussy cut, I normally take a long, um, a long stemmed, you know, uh, and these are really kind of blunt and stubby. So, but I'm sure they'll do a good job. And I, and they're very nice. They're very, and they're just, you know, they're really good handled and everything. So this thing here, and I'm not promoting you guys to go buy anything. I'm showing you what's, what we're going to be using in the future in some situations. So. This spoon, which I really like this paper, I'm gonna put it in my personal journal, this uh, cardboard that came with it. But this spoon was uh, only $3.59. Now, if I'd have been over at Michael's, even without a coupon, I would have paid $3.59 for that. I just think that it's gonna really work for what I want. I know there's a hundred things out there that I could, could use, but this is what I want. So that's what I got. So that's, that's uh, my story and I'm sticking to it as they say. So that's uh, all that about that stuff. Now, oh my gosh, she made her own watercolors. Oh, I wonder, how did she do that? With uh, pigment? She bought the pigment? Because there's uh, Miracles or Magicals and a few other pigments, watercolors that are really fun to work with. Okay, I have something exciting. Is everybody watching? Who do I have? I have three now. I and my husband are putting together tassel kits. Okay, so let me let me grab the the um, hardware for them. All righty, let me do this. Pigments, yeah, I know, Jody, I know. So I, I went online and I did this last year because I knew I was going to eventually, oh, look, well, no, it's already open. Okay. I was going to say, oh, look, I get to use my new scissors. Now these are black and they're kind of small, but I think, um, that's a good thing. These are brass and they're about the same size. Oh, one of the black ones got in there and they're really cool. And these are silver so they're all just a tiny bit different and I really think these are kind of cool they're smaller than the ones that I usually use but I don't know that anyone likes them as big as I normally like them and this is what I found and so this is what I'm gonna put in the kit um, I don't have as many black ones I have a lot of silver ones but I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out I'm gonna make it work 
And so what my plan is, I'm going to set those there. This is my plan, you guys. My husband and I worked on this today. And uh, it was so funny because um, Jennifer Hardy uh, um, messaged me, video messaged me. So we were on video. And I turned the camera to my husband. And I'm like, I, I'm making him slave over yarn. He's cutting yarn. Okay, so you see all this? Check this out. These are pre-designed tassels tied in a knot so it's not completed but look how many different there is um, cotton cotton uh, lace there is um, I guess this is a, a hem binding this is uh, a, a cut of a, of a other type of lace here is some silver lace here is some silver trim here's some purple yarns and you guys some of my yarns are so um, amazing there's some black in there there's some thin thin we made sure to add a lot of thin ones so that the charms can be tied to these there's some purple um, a uh, burgundy plum that has these little chunks on it every now and then when you go down there's another chunk and then there is this yarn which has the uh, variegated colors in it and then uh, some others so that's that one we're gonna do a ton of these. Look at this one. Oh my goodness, who votes that this would go? Oh, the color does not, okay. I was like, it looks purple, but you're, we're not, I'm not, I'm ahead of you. This one is perfect for mermaid. Oh my gosh. There is teal, there is jade, there is a little bit of light green, uh, dark green, there's uh, silver, there's lace it's gorgeous there's some dark blue i just am so hi gwen so that's the that's the one i'm calling a mermaid one and then actually there's another one that's very similar but it's a little bit lighter it doesn't have the dark blue so it's more of a pastel but boy oh boy you guys the stuff that's inside of here is so gorgeous and we sat and put it all out on the table here's another plumish one but it has a little bit of a lighter uh, and it has the eyelash lace, more of that in it, which is really delicate, and some satin yarn or satin trim. And then, and these aren't in the order. You would take it apart. It would be like this. Let's say, well, it wouldn't be in this knot when you get it. But let's say we take this apart, and we, and I'll make one of these uh, on on a tutorial. These are 20 inches long, so this has the opportunity to, opportunity to be as long as 10 inches. That would be the length of your tassel, right? So, bright rainbow one to go with the hippie stuff. Yeah, you do, Jody. That's exactly what you need. I'll figure that out for you. You you message me the primary colors you want, and I'll get you one together. And we'll and that'll go with those envelopes. We'll figure out a few more things. Anyways, um, these these have there's some that have uh, sparkle and iridescent in there. See this one look at that it's just a really really wonderful and we had all of this yarn my husband you guys every time he goes to the bins he buys yarn i put it in a bag and with uh fabric you know sheets and i set it aside well when you get it all together you guys there's four totes of it and it's gorgeous and i realized i needed to get something going Oh, I had to take a drink of water. <coughs> Guess what? I have my cough drops right here. <coughs> Excuse me so much. I apologize. Alrighty. So, here's a green and gold. Or actually, it's a green, <coughs> tan, and copper. <coughs> Excuse me so much. I was fine all day. <coughs> Sorry, guys. This particular little cotton uh, trim in there has the copper in it. I'm sorry. Now my eyes are even watering. We have the copper strands with the gold trim. We have the teal, the dark green, which is a Chanel 
and then a mossy green and then the tan it's just a really beautiful <clears throat> combination it would be good oh my gosh i'm sorry anyways it would be good for garden um fairy um floral uh botanical nature forest it what i want to say is is that let the let the um let the tassel tell you what it wants to become let's say you guys buy one of these let the tassel uh create help you create the inspiration for your next project this one has a lot of uh different it has some silver uh some cut cut uh polyester lace it has the pinks it has the burgundies to darken it more burgundy some really fat chanel uh uh yarn and then the silvers are in there so and then we have this one is kind of uh paris i had some paris trims and i've been saving these for a long time and i hadn't done anything with them so they're kind of a brown with a pink pinky color so i combined it with this color here and this color and then i also added hermes paris uh trim that came off of i think it must have come off of a, a purchase of someone's purchase or something you know how the bag will have it or something it has a really pretty metallic plaid in there that's a similar color uh yes yes i'm sorry i didn't look over um i'm so used to it being so far uh, behind me i just was going forward yes every one of these is uh is 20 or more inches some of them if they only had that much left on it i just didn't cut it off because i don't see the point in keeping that much when i can give it to the to the person who buys it and they can figure it out so every one of these are 20 inches long about right you know 19 20 21 22 but then when you fold it in half and you put it over your your uh metal whatever it is you're going to use and then you put your that's how long it is and let me get the ruler out and i'm not trying to sell these to you guys tonight so you guys i haven't figured out anything i just am so excited about them i'm trying to to share you know share what i'm excited about what my husband and i came up with today so there's the top and basically it can be anywhere from 10 to 12 inches long this one like i said was a, was too long but i didn't want to cut it off so but this one's fun uh because i get to use that paris um paris ribbon that i've been wanting to figure out what to do with you know you know how you have something and you finally figure out what to do with it so i'll show you the last ones and then i'll put them away and we'll move on to the next thing so and then there is a um another purple but this one has purple and gold uh just a little bit of silver has some copper in it and this one is purple and silver and it has the uh, really, really, really pretty, you guys. It's a, just a gorgeous um, eyelash lace in there, which I think it's called actually fun for a deep, deep purple uh, yarn. Uh, a blue and silver with some cream colors in there. And that one's got some really rich, rich, rich. Thank you, Jody. Thank you. And then this one's gold, gold and neutral. So those are the ones we have 11 of them. And we want to make more of them, but I'm thinking to put those together with a with the coordinating uh, metal and make kits because I I just am never going to get around to doing them all to try to sell them made. And I think you guys would enjoy making them or whoever buys them. So that's my plan. Now, whew, now that my throat is better, I got my swap. Do you guys remember? I packed up a um, a swap your junk um, swap and I mailed it out on Friday and I got mine on Saturday and this is from uh, Lisa Bernard and it was this is from advanced we were doing the um, swap your junk which is what you guys are in tier two are going to be doing here in uh, this next week I'll get the I'll get it up I don't want to cut anything i'll just do that Ooh, oh my goodness look at that the fun begins so i'm going to tag her in this uh, video so that i can tell her thank you and i just thought it would be fun 
I know. Won't you guys love it? I put a poll up and you guys voted because I put three things out there and you guys voted mostly for the swap your junk and then a little bit. Uh, um, oh, I don't remember what the other thing was. Something about napkins, which uh, tier two. Remember, you guys can swap with each other. So if someone wants to swap some napkins with you, put it out there. Uh, just just always remember, if someone flakes out on you, you have to let me know because we do not tolerate. It's a one one striker out on flaking we don't we don't have any tolerance for that so and i won't know if you don't tell me and you're not tattling on them you're protecting our members from from going through that so i don't want you to look at it as a bad thing so this is going to be 35 items five items seven let's see five of seven items and i threw the paper a work away of course because that's the way my brain works so I can't even say well this was the items to choose from and I hope she really likes hers because remember guys I decorated the outside of the envelope with um uh the um oh uh flamingo remember the flamingo napkin Melody what a crazy swap my stuff for someone else's too funny I hope there's something in here that's new and useful to you love this group and love what you do for us happy journaling lisa and this is from and see this gets to go into my journal and this is from uh, advance so i'm just really excited uh to because uh we are real quiet over there right now and so this is going to be this is this is fun <gasps> Ooh, looks like she's giving me some vintage which i love vintage so this says uh collection uh 1928 depth of $8.90. Ooh, somebody was in big trouble. That's a lot of money back then. Wow. That's gorgeous. Look at that. That's the original too. So I'm going to a 1928. That's um after copyright, so I can't really do anything about copying it, but Okay, so this little baggie has Ooh yarns isn't that funny we were just talking and showing yarns look at these these oh and i don't ha i have not seen this one for sure oh wow those are wonderful oh and it's on a, a monkey card you guys isn't that cool <gasps> look at here oh let's untie it i love un unpacking things don't you isn't that the funnest let's see oh my goodness gracious Oh, I don't even know. That's gorgeous. That's, oh, she's got good stuff, you guys. Oh, and she she put a lot more in there than she had to. She was only uh, required to put 12 inches. Wow. And this. Oh, she ha she's got a good eye, you guys. She's got good stash. Look at that. That's gorgeous okay so there's that now we have this trim oh wow look at the danglies oh they're wonderful and this trim oh my goodness isn't that fun oh you guys this is just the best ever and then this key or this paper clip and this paper clip one is a key and one is a bike let me put it on this white bag one is a key and one is a ba uh, bike. That is so cool. I'm going to set those in here. And I get another cool little bag, which I might coffee dye. That seems like that would look good. Coffee dye doesn't. Oh my goodness. Look at all this fun stuff. And she wrapped it up so nice. See, now I didn't. I put mine all flat because, you know, I was trying to save on shipping. But she had this little button paper uh, card stock that she wrapped it in. Isn't that adorable? Oh. You guys, look at that. Oh, you guys are just so jealous, aren't you? I can tell. Look at that. Oh, my goodness gracious. Little tiny. Is that a rubber? It's a tiny rubber band on there. See, now this is exactly what I'm using in these tassels right now. I am so excited. I'm going to put that, save that one for one of my own, though. Beautiful white. This one, look at the tiny little flowers on there. Wouldn't that? You know, that almost might be something Jody would want. I might would pay that forward, Jody. Do you see those colors? We'll see. You decide. Because it's that's okay. I can pay it forward. Merci, Merci. Oh, that's the a French. 
Oh, isn't that cool? And then um, yellow with uh, like a ruler. Okay, Judy, Jody, cool. I'll put that aside and we'll, we'll base it on these colors because I can make that work. You'll be very surprised at how loud I can get this. I actually already know the yarn I'm going to put in there. Um, red polka dots. How fun. Black with white trim. That's cool. And then one more kind of a vintage-y. Oh, isn't that just the best? Oh. Never do that until afterwards. Well, yeah, Jody, that's the thing is, you know what? Um, swapping your stuff is so that you get a variety to do something. Oh, now, see, hers and eyes are very similar, you guys. Look at this. She has vintage paper, and I had vintage paper, and I put, oh, my gosh. I put a French to English dictionary pages in hers, too. Isn't that crazy? I wonder what year hers is. I, I need to ask her so that I know if I can scan it in or not. Oh, look at that. <gasps> Ooh. April 1963. This is older than me. Older than me. Oh, I'm going to put that. I've got to figure this out. I want to save some of this. And some of it I want to put in a personal journal. And this is so awesome. Lisa really, look at that. Lisa really outdid herself. You know, I could go in with my watercolor markers and uh, just like highlight little areas and put a pop of color in there. Wouldn't that be fun? You know, it's so fun to see unusual stuff, isn't it? Right? This is kind of like when Jim and I do uh, the search and rescues and share that stuff. This is better though because she picked it out personally for me. I like this bag. So this so far, I've got all the goodies plus three awesome bags, you guys. And the papers off of here, these little button papers, the little, um, the little, uh, even I'm going to reuse these. I'm, I'm just a compulsive. Look at there. Oh, that's pretty. That is so pretty. And I just seen one of these used, um, I, was it Dale? Somebody did something with one of these that was really cool. I'll put that in my personal journal. Oh, you guys, she. Now I feel bad because she did overboard and I didn't. I just stuck to the. Aw. She's a sweetie. She's been in advance for uh, almost, I think, since the beginning. And it's funny because when you have a lot of people in there, you kind of don't notice uh, any one or two people necessarily unless you already formed a relationship with them look at i got the stink bug and the ladybug and uh then when when we went down to to own to a few you know a lot less members i get to know people better i like that so something about wow i don't know those are awesome though awesome awesome and then tags this one even's been coffee dyed somehow she got dots on there i wonder what she did uh i love inventory tags Look at that one. That one's uh, got already got the thing on it, or the eyelet on it, and it has some sort of texture at the bottom. I know. Just that it's so it hits so many different things. She didn't stay in any one click, which I really like because you just never know. This is fabulous. I absolutely adore that. I've not seen that before. Oh, and she has a made tag. Oh, that's what this is. This is the tag one. Oh, but she put so many in here. Oh, you guys, I'm going to do some coffee dye. Oh, and I love these. See, and I, she got ripped off compared to what she gave me. No, oh, I just, you know, we all go through that, though. You just kind of go, oh, if I would have known. Look at that. That has a library card on the front, but on the back it says, Heart, Hearth and Hand with Magnolia. I wonder what that means. I don't know. And then another pocket. Oh, and this one is... uh. I think 2009. Oh, healing for damaged emotions. Ooh. This. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then these I'm going to give to my husband because guess who, who does this? My husband does. And oh, oh, oh. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to actually do a mermaid journal after I make that, uh, make that kit. 
North America, or flags of North America. Oh, New Zealand, Australia. Ah, Australia. What does it say on the back? Oh, wow. Okay, so and then we're down to these fun things, which are fun in, in uh, those uh, little golden book, uh, because you could... Um, you can they kind of give you the feel of uh children's and then that is awesome look at that oh if i was to run across these i would have bought them in a heartbeat she is wonderful lisa lisa when you when and if you watch my video oh i want to say thank you so much and that you way overdid it and i just say thank you for that you are so sweet and i hope that you like my stuff too and uh, you just are just a real sweet lady to have in the group and to get to know. Thank you so much. We could do live create with Mel mermaid journals. Oh, we should. You guys, you guys are really looking forward to the mermaid, right? I mean, it's something that probably everybody, although they, everyone likes to grab the kits, but not everyone actually makes something with it. So I think this mermaid is going to make everybody want to make, make the mermaid journal because... Uh, I'm really excited because I'm going to flow back and forth between, see how, I don't know if you can see this ripple in, in here. My printer's really bad. It'll look better um, on a printed out. Oh, wait a second. Let me come right back. Let me come right back. I printed it out on another printer here. Alrighty, so that's what it looks like on photo paper. And I think I, put, I must have put my thumb on it. I don't think I actually picked photo paper and I might have not print great. But anyways, that's what it looks like on photo paper. And I knew it would look a little more rich and deep there. And then I printed these out because I was excited to maybe put them... Uh, these are the ones that are in the printable files that anyone can print out. And I just thought maybe I'd mess with them in my journal. And uh, so that was kind of, I just thought, you know, I, I don't have any of my own art in, this is going to be fun. This, my journal this time is going to be what's going on in my life now. And I know. And the thing is, you guys, this isn't even the, the I haven't even got to the point of including the jelly printing. This is just the digital images that I'm creating. So and then I have images uh, like outlines of mermaids and uh, sea life, uh, not sea life, uh, but like some of the plant stuff, you know, uh, seaweed. And uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to just have fun. I'm going to have a blast. My next thing after I get done um, getting my cover going is I want to get this going because I really, I really did want to finish this and I keep. Uh, keep it where I can see it so that I don't forget about it. Um, I just don't want to forget. And then we're going to, going to do one of these um, live in Facebook. And I'll, I think what I'll do is do an event where I make a time. So if someone wants to uh, grab some product and work with me, they can. That kind of thing with this one because I want I want the ladies if they can to make one before I put the event up on the 18th so that they really are comfortable and confident I mean they can send the one they made or make another one or do whatever but I just want them to if they can make it then they'll they'll be more likely to, to join and uh, we'll we'll have fun we'll have lots of fun so I don't really have anything else that was the the most of it does uh does anybody else have anything that's going on with them today i need to bind my journal and i don't know if i'm going to try to do it i don't know i'm i'm hesitant guys i got off track and you know how that is if you get off track then you kind of lose your momentum and i hate that i did that because i was so excited i don't know i really should just I cleaned the room today and got everything ready so that if I decided to get productive tomorrow, I would at least um, have a clean, clean desk to work with. But I just really feel like 
I need to jump in and just do it, not overthink it anymore, because I was on such a roll, and as soon as I got off that roll, I just, I lost it. I lost my way. And I just, and if you guys have any trouble with that um, spring kit, the, the pages that got corrected are in the event, okay? So you can go in there and grab them. There's two, two pages that ended up wonky because I was trying to do it too fast. Not completely paying attention. But making birthday cards and shirts for grandson and friends' grandsons. Oh my gosh, Belinda, that sounds fun. I used to make Easter cards, Christmas cards, birthday cards, um, Valentine's Day cards. Um, especially for my nephews, I would always do the um, St. Patrick's Day. I have three nephews that I would send St. Patrick's Day cards to and I would put money in there or Pokemon cards or both. And they are so sad that I stopped and I feel bad about it. But I kind of feel like I just, in my mind, I justify it because I feel like I got a job. And since I'm not, uh, you know, so much time on my hands, I just can't commit to to doing that kind of stuff. But um, I need, may, I, I don't know, maybe I should just buy some cards and then I could uh, put, still put money in there. Because honestly, I know everyone expects it. That's the thing. And it's sad because um, it's enjoyable and you love it. But if you don't have time or something happens or you just, you know, feel the pressure and don't want to do it anymore, whatever. Then it's, then it's you know, it's just sad. It, I, I got out of it uh, pretty well, though, because I told everybody once my friend had passed that I just, that's just not what I do right now. I just, you know, and they gave me a break on it from that. Um, I just, you know, you can only do what you can do. It is hard to stop. It's so gratifying. Do you know what they used to do? I was so, I would be so happy. My sister, when the cards would come in, she would sit the kids down with their letters from the mailbox and she would videotape them opening them and then telling me auntie mel thank you so much for our card we love them and it was just so sweet and i got to do that you know every event that came up every holiday and it was really really fun but uh um i don't know i just it just would be sad i just i don't know how to break out of the fact that that leslie isn't here to do it with because we used to have, we each had a notebook and we would sit, I still have, you guys, it could, it just breaks my heart. I still have, I'm going to reach down and look for it. Ah, it was right here. I don't know how, maybe I'm not meant to, to find it and show it. I don't know why though, because it should... Well, I can't find it. It was right there. But it's a spiral um, multimedia um, uh, Anyways, I bought it for her and I to do um, it wasn't junk journals and I didn't even really know of the term of an art journal. Yeah, you're stuck. That's for sure, Belinda. But we, but I wanted her because her daughter had moved away and she was missing her. Her father-in-law had passed. Her mother-in-law was sick. She just had all these issues, and I wanted her to express herself in in a way. So I got her the journal, and we would, and I, I just, I can't believe that I can't find it because it literally, I was taking, I was taking some papers out of it because I wanted to. Um, empty it out except for the pages that she had written on so that I could put it up and keep keep it and I just that's just so weird because it really was you guys I was cleaning last night and it was just right there and I I won't be able to find it if my life depended on oh I just didn't look far enough back okay so I bought her and I matching these and they, when they came, they had some sort of label on it that said something about some sort of multimedia journal. And um, so she, I, I got her to mess around with some... She, she would be horrified, you guys, if she knew I was showing you this. But the fact is, is that 
I told her every time we did anything, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It just, you put what you want on the paper. It's not for anyone else to see. And she, she just didn't think that she was creative at all. And you guys look, this is 2012. And she was missing her daughter, Carrie. And this was 12, uh, December 26, 12 with Melody Huey fun. And she, we, she liked this cat and Carrie liked cats and I missed Carrie and she just stamped and that's all she did. She just, she barely wanted to do anything, but then she got to where she was saying here that she missed and loved Fred, which was her father-in-law. And then she, you know, she just got to where you guys, it just, and then it just her writing and I couldn't, I just, I just, it just, anyways. Anyways, anyways, I couldn't make cards anymore. Can't make cards if Leslie's not there to make them with me. So it's been, she, uh, it'll April, April 25th, it'll be two years since she's been gone. And, um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. I didn't do good that first year. I had to go to counseling. And they said that I was, um, I was trauma. It was uh, trauma-induced depression. But I'm doing much better now. Those look really pretty on photo paper. It is hard, Belinda. It is hard. But you know what? Um, I told Leslie all the time how she, you know, she could get through anything. She could do anything. And so it's like I almost just have to tell myself the same thing. But I just... I don't know. I, I might get back to cards. I actually might. I might get back to it and do some stuff for the kids. I used to love to do the 4th of July and stuff. Just anything that wasn't a normal holiday that made they made, got made a big deal out of just so that the kids had something fun to come in the mail. I have uh, quite a few. Um, I have three grandchildren and then quite a few nieces and grand, niece, grand and nieces and nep nephews. There we go. They all done? Yep, they all done. Those are pretty, 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 pretty. So I'm going to put all of this stuff away. What? How long have I been on here? You know what's cool about being live, you guys, is, is I don't have to worry about um, uploading this, and that's why I do lives. I don't like, I don't like that whole uploading thing. If you don't have to do it, I don't recommend it. So I'm going to move all of this aside. Oh, Lisa was so sweet to me. That's just such a wonderful gift that she gave me this tons of wonderful items. And I'm going to put it all back in here so that I can process it properly. I don't lose anything. And I have the note up there that's going to go in the journal once I make it. Set that aside. And I'm going to... I think I might go ahead and bind my book. You guys want to learn how to, well, that's if I can find this fine. I've been having trouble finding the spine to this thing. It's not this one, is it? It's not this one. This one is... When are we going to do that? Yeah, this isn't the one. I, I cut the spine out of stiff mat board. And I put it in here with all the other stuff. And there it is. And I have already gessoed the one side, remember? Um, so this one is really, and I'm going to put that on the outside and leave this on the inside. So let's just do it. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of putting it off. And the hubby is upstairs busy. And you guys are here. So what better time? Right? What better time? But this is a big one. So I need all the space I can get. So this is the front. This is the back. Put the gessoed side out. Now it looks like it might be just a tad. Is it everything in the camera? Oh, when are we going to do that? Swap goodies. Um, I am going to... Today's the 4th. Um, I will put it up 
by Tuesday. I'll put up a tier two, tier three, swap your junk, swap, and I'll, um, do you think 35 items is good? If you think, if you like the idea of the one we did, I could just copy that and just add some more stuff because I, I did think it would be kind of fun to add a few more, th a few more choices. I was just in a rush when I did it the first time. Okay, so I think that's, I'm going to grab my tape and my glue. This is book binding tape. And this is PVA glue, but I'm not sure. Not sure if that's going to be what I need. So I'll grab this too. That one's not open. This one looks open. Okay, this one's open. So I have my glues, I have my tape, I have my scissors to cut my tape. What I need to do here is leave just a tiny bit of room here so that it can do this. If it's pressed all the way up against it, it's not going to be able to give. And I'm going to tape it with some really heavy duty tape. So it's important for me to try. In fact, I'm wondering if it might be a good idea for me to try to get one of these to stay down and keep control of it. Let's see if I can do this with the washi tape. Might work, might not, but if I try, I'll know. So let's see. That way I can just manipulate the other one. Okay, that's that's that works a little bit. Not going to completely slide away. Okay. This tape is pretty tough to get off here, and I don't, the, the brand is not on there. But if you look for book binding tape, you'll have no trouble finding it. I think that I am going to go overlap. Everything's looking good. I'm just going to put it down. Now I'm going to trim it down here to tear it off. Maybe. There we go. Alrighty, so I can feel that's a nice, good bending area there. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here. See if the tape will help me. Okay, so I'm going to have this one about right there. Now I've done this several times, but um, not on a book this big. Um, cause this is how I add the spine to a little golden book. Now I knew that my tape was going to overlap some of this, but I still wanted this to be done before. Oh, Jody, uh, we started the binding on the big journal. That's what we did. And we cut up, what else did I do? Oh, I cut up some of these little I would print out some of my tags the ones in the printables and because I want to put them in the journal and I did them on um, photo paper so they look really nice those are those are photographs that I took of, of flowers I gotta do I gotta fix this because I put this tape too close and then I take them and put them in GIMP and I alter them or um, manipulate them I don't know what the term would be but uh, I love to do that. And that's what I had planned on doing. All of my digital art originally was going to be on my photographs. It was going to be a whole thing. And then I met jelly plate printing. And that changed everything. So now I'm addicted to jelly plate printing. And I haven't taking a picture of a flower or anything in two months but I'm thinking my my uh, husband came up with the idea of uh, we could we could <sighs> this tape is really good let's just put it that way my husband came up with the idea okay I want to make sure that this is very attached and no wrinkles if I can help it there we go there we go so now that is very attached to my three inch spine. You guys, isn't that fabulous? I am so excited. This is going to be the biggest journal 
because the one I made was big, like the, you know, all of this, but my spine was, was not big. And so this will be the biggest one. I have a um, Bisquick box that I want to use really bad, but I needed a hard cover for what I was doing. Okay. Got it all pulled up. I'm going to flip it over. Really good spine going on here. This tape's so good, it's taking the tape off of my desk that's holding things together. <laughs> okay, so I want to make sure that I'm in here as much as I can be. But I'm going to take this very, very tightly. Pull that down. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Pull that down. Okay. So then I'm going to bring this one, which I didn't leave as long, but it will be plenty fine. And then this one. There we go. Just as tight as I can. I don't, I don't want it to be wobbly, you guys. In fact, um, well, wobbly in the wrong way. I am a little surprised to see when some people um, use just fabric without putting down the tape first. Just, just glue and fabric. That I don't know that I would be able to do that. I would feel like it needed more but then i guess it depends on how the journal's getting used right that would make a difference okay so that's nice and straight right there i'm going to cut this off right at the edge so it overlaps can you see that it overlaps the other one but it doesn't go over to the back all righty now let's do that again Hi, Wilma. You need to put under your videos what you use in the link for Amazon so you can get a kickback. I know, Belinda. You know what the problem with that is? Is, is that um, I haven't figured out. Every time I try to set up my Amazon um, affiliates, uh, I have. they say I haven't registered my site. I don't know. It gets complicated. And so I just end up moving on to something else because I... I squirrel on it and it's like that's not fun to, to pre get pressed I'm I'm it's amazing I managed this I had to go into YouTube and get my um, key there's a there's a key you have to have a code so that you can do live streaming through OBS so I was I was proud of myself for getting that figured out because and I want to figure out how to do it in Facebook too because I think that being able to see uh, me and the, what I'm doing is is uh, is my favorite way. So check this out, guys. There we go. We now have an awesome. Oh, this is going to be so fabulous. I am going to put the coolest corners on this. I just now have to decide what the heck I'm going to do with this cover. Didn't I just don't know. I don't know. I know that I got to gesso it. So let's do that because um, if I forget to do that and try to do anything else, that'll be bad. I think I'm going to 3D it. What do you think? I'm going to. Yes. Oh, my goodness. So much room. I'm, I'm just going to have the best time filling it up. And I'm going to make that a series, too. Uh, I have a few series in mind that I want to. And, uh, you know, just things we can do together and you guys can watch from step one to, to step a hundred because uh, that's that's fun. I'm going to use a big a big brush because this is a big surface and I have to gesso everything. I have to gesso the tape. I have to uh, I'm going to give the spine another coat um, because then whatever I do to it, it will all react the same because the gesso will have primed it. Oh, you should, Belinda. This this is just a, a book from, uh, oh, I think it was, um, it might have been an estate sale. And it had some really lovely art images in it that I thought might would come in handy. So I grabbed it and then it just sat and it sat and it sat. And I thought, okay. What I want, and this is my recommendation when you do make your own journal, if you want a big one, what I want is so that the whole eight, eight and a half by 11 
Oh, uh, yeah. This one is this one is a leftover piece from when I was doing Mad's uh, canvas. So this is a mold piece. I'm gonna probably do stenciling with 3D uh, with the mold molding paste. So it'll be a different technique, and I have to figure out what stencil I want to work with. And I have to figure out, you know, kind of, I don't know. I'm actually just really loving the blues now because of the mermaid thing I'm working on. My brain really gets involved in whatever I'm working on. So I get inspired. That's why I put my nails uh, for a while in those spring colors because I had to get the spring done and I needed to have the influence around me. So I, I got to go through my stencils and figure out exactly um, what I want to use. And I've been watching... There's a, a, oh goodness, is this Kim Creative or something? But then she has a title, uh, I don't know, Bellis, Bell Studios or something. But she comes up on my, when it's on automatic uh, play on YouTube. And she's been doing some art pages that have a lot of texturing in them. And then she does like Marta and, uh, you know, does the alcohol ink sprays and stuff, which is what I want to do. Because that's my thing now. I really do love the alcohol inks. And I would want to incorporate that in here. Because the inside will mostly be... Uh, there's going to be a lot of jelly plate pages in here. That are uh, just ones that I like and left over from doing other things. And uh, so that's, that's the direction I'm going to go. And I got to talk to Jennifer today, Jody. She's doing good. She's getting there. She lost her printer in the move. She doesn't know where it is. So she's thinking about buying a new one. <laughs> but I'm just so happy that she's uh, she's in her place. She's got her internet. And so she can survive anything else. Poor thing. It's been uh, a hectic two months. That's for sure. Boy, this is going to be a wonderful surface. I don't know about other people. I see a lot of uh, reference to breaking. Uh, you have no idea how to bind single pages. Um, well, I'll show you because I'm going to be doing it in this journal. Um, there's there's five different ways to do it. But there's simple. There's uh, uh, tape. There's um, in that little. Well, you can look at that journal when you get it, sweetie. I sent it out. Um, I have a book that I bought that is 14 inches long, nine inches high. That would work right. Yes, let me let me show you. Oh, don't fall in there. Um, where's that? So this one is 11 and a half tall and seven, eight and a half wide. So yeah, yours would be even bigger. Oh, way to outdo me, Belinda. <laughs> But yeah, um, when you get that little little golden book, look in there. The pages are um, taped together with book binding tape. And that's one way. But you can sew them with fabric. Pieces of fabric would be pretty. There's a, a lot of different ways that you can do it, uh, depending on the look that you want to get. I want to have this do a really good base layer so that I don't have to worry about anything reacting differently in one area or another glad to know she got moved she did uh she did tell her i called her two in the morning her time <laughs> she did it was funny it, she loves getting calls though that's the thing is that it was <laughs> she's she's going to be just so happy to be back back in the uh back in the fold again she had just been she she kept telling me she says that she's getting depressed and i told her that she's not allowed to get depressed because we're sitting here waiting for her to come back and depression is just going to slow her down so she needs to just uh, skip that that uh, uh temptation and don't don't fall for it don't fall for the urge to get depressed yeah, it's tough to fight it, but <laughs> oh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be an awesome year, you guys. Every bit of it. It's just gonna be wonderful. 
I am always excited to see everybody's uh, learning so much and then making friends and uh, sharing and getting more confidence in everything that they're doing. And uh, that's just really what this is all about. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out getting the edges, but I at least got, Yes, she um, she just had to get uh, she ha she's happening to get a few things figured out, but um, very soon she'll be in here like she used to be. But you know she's in Australia, so uh, eight, two in the afternoon is eight o'clock in the morning for her. That's usually before this all happened. She would get a hold of me at um, at about two in the afternoon. And so uh, that's when we'll go back to having our video chats. And uh, so I'm just going over my spine or my uh, edge a little bit, trying not to get anything on the on the inside cover. But if I do, I'll figure a way to fix it because I just it's got to all get gessoed. It just has to. Oh, but now I got gessoed fingers that I'm moving around in there with. So we'll see what uh, what I end up doing. See if I end up messing it up too much. I suppose there's nothing that can't be fixed, though. Alrighty, there it is. So now, you guys, after this is completely dried, um, the, I'll be able now to at least go to, to the next phase, which I've been putting off. Uh, doing all that stuff which is going to get me to the next phase so that really was kind of a you know shoot myself in the foot kind of thing um, and I hate doing that I don't I don't like uh, not having myself continue to roll forward um, stopping and getting unmotivated is uh, just not an option anymore right it's just not an option for me so now I'm going to try to really quick clean up because I did get some gesso around the edges. Quite a bit of it, actually. Okay. Now I'm also going to try and... Oh, I'm going to find anything. There we go. There we go. Boy, it's going to look nice. It's going to be a nice, solid... That is gesso. That is gesso. It is the um, store brand. You know, uh, a lot of... Uh, let's see. At uh, Hobby Lobby, this is the store brand, and they run this at 50% off a lot of times. So I only paid $7.50 for it. And I've been using it all this time. But it says right here, this medium body acrylic gesso offers exceptional coverage and artist quality results as a ground for acrylics, oils, and other paint media used on canvas, wood, linen, or any porous non-oily surface. Uh, dries to permanent water resistant and flexible texture may be tinted with acrylic colors or thinned with water. So it's a it's an awesome product. Oh the binding tape, yes. And I, I think I think it was about ten dollars uh, for the roll, but I don't use it all on every single thing. I just use it when when it's going to be um, important that you know I don't know. And you guys, I also my husband and I found this over the summer, and we found probably about ten rolls of this. But it's some sort of um, I don't know if it's casting or medical, but this stuff is so sticky, and I will use that a lot. So I have two options and it's nice and wide too. So I have the two of those that I'll use. I, I'm sure, you know, there's been people that use duct tape. They use anything and everything. It, uh, it just, just all depends on the, the product, you know, the product that you want to use or what you have. Where did I get uh, the binding tape? Uh, I, buy, I buy almost everything on Amazon because we have Prime. So I go on Amazon, which... Let's see, I could do that right now and, and find something for you. Uh, let's see. If I go over here. And 
open a new oh here it is open new window and Amazon Um, another uh, person on YouTube that would give you really good um, advice and guidance is, of course, Nick the Booksmith. I don't watch a lot of her videos, but I have watched a few. And um, But I'm going to put in here book, binding, tape. Um, I think that's only two inches. I don't know. It's not two inches. Yeah, it is two inches, right? Yeah, just about two inches. And, of course, they're going to give me everything in the world from... Okay, book repair tape, two inch wide. Um, that's the one that I think I bought, and it's by Lineco. Um, it's 1520, marked down from 1994. I thought it was only... Some sort of hinging tape, which I don't know if that's meant for books or not. Book guard premium, ooh, 38 bucks. Bucks. Ooh. Book repair for 14. They have it in all kinds of uh, different colors and stuff. Um, I just got white because I just didn't see the point and it was going to be covered up no matter what I did. So Lineco, L-I-N-E-C-O, seems to have uh, different types. But that's, if you uh, don't want to go through Amazon, I would uh, compare the prices um, with 3M Book Tape says, prolongs books life, transparent, permanent. I've never used that. I don't know, but it's only $7.44, so you could try it and let us know. But you're looking at about 15 bucks if you buy the... Um, the brands that are actually intended for that. So it's a cloth tape. Ooh, they have a really cool washi tape. I better stop. <laughs> you guys all get going on a um, shopping. Let's see. 3D like the cover of your little lavender journal. Okay, I've seen that one. Hello, I've already seen those. Oh, am I going the wrong way? Might be. Go back that way, and then when the uh, little chat box is over here on this side, I can see it better. Oh, you found it. Good job. Good job. Okay, so that's something that uh, everyone's going to have to figure out, though, if they uh, what they're going to adhere the covers to the new spine if they're going to redo uh, an old book. Let's say uh, it's just damaged and you want to repair it. Let's say you want to start from scratch and you want to cover the whole thing and uh, do what I'm doing here, or you can use the book cover in its original condition, obviously, and do wonderful things with it. And um, so a lot of people have done that. They lead like we do with the little golden books, but I've seen them, um, beautiful antique books, done lots of things. But yeah, it's gonna be, um, this one is going to be mostly personal, but we'll, I'm going to incorporate a little bit of, of NJJM and AJJM just because that's, that's part of my life. That's what my life exists around. And so I'm excited. I've already been, every time I'm doing anything, I throw something in this box over here, which is all going to go in here and it's going to be so fun. It's just going to be fabulous. I'm excited. I think I might try to go put this on another table, though, because I don't think we need to sit and watch this dry. Okay, I'll be right back.
Jimbo found this at the bins the other day and uh it's so cute I don't I don't I guess it could be uh made into a cover it's on like a cardboard paper it's a poster a cardboard poster not cardboard but cardstock but it's pretty cute I gotta get all this gesso up uh, just so off me so I don't get it on anything else I'm a messy crafter messy 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 so yeah this is uh, pretty fun and I don't know I, I'm gonna probably put it in the store because I I don't I don't have I already made one Paris uh, journal for my niece and I don't really have a thing for it so I don't plan on making uh, one for me or putting anything like that in mind this, you guys, is all of the stuff that I've been collecting, the pages and everything. This doesn't actually belong in here. This is going to be for the trifold event that we're going to do kits. And that's the next thing i got to get my butt moving on. I'm always coming up with something. This, um, I was thinking about scanning these in for the mermaid, but either which way, they're going to go in my book. Tyvek sheets. Awesome awesome you guys that's see that's great for them for other people to know yeah you guys uh share that information with each other because i haven't used it i don't know anything about it and so i can't um and I, oh see this was a, a gift so i'm saving that to put in there this is my uh, little journal that i that i was doing mixed media in and i've only things i've done in there now lately because I, I haven't been doing anything fun in that sense is just uh putting uh paint off and doing a little bit of uh stamping because i liked this bunny and i wanted to keep an image of it this has some uh, 3d texturing uh wipe off on it along with this page and then i just put every ounce of paint that i had left on that one and uh so that's all that's left in, in there i i want to get back to doing something fun with that too and I have a coffee filter I was gifted and I want to put that in my journal but I'm thinking I need to put together a pile of things that need to go to get coffee dyed this is just paper because I don't throw away anything um double-sided tape and glue oh huh. says glitter glue but no glitter glitter in it let's see I used art glitter glue I guess if I already have it, I should, well, you could try. I mean, the thing is, is that if it doesn't work for you, you can always do the next, uh, uh, next idea on the next one. Can't have too many journals, can you? And if you can, don't tell me because I don't want to know. <laughs> I added this. I found this and stuff. It's just some sort of advertisement, but it's the shape of a cell phone. I thought it was funny. Uh, leftovers. This, you guys. I have Bingo Club, which I have not done since I think we didn't. I, we haven't done it since November. But uh, AJJM Bingo Club, I did these little things when I would send out the prizes. I would send these little things out with it. So I thought that was fun. Uh, this was uh, when I was doing spraying for uh, when we did that uh, glue gun um, stencils. That was fun. That was fun. So I'm going to put that in there somehow. And these, of course, are business envelopes that are the return ones. I've been saving them. Uh, I have a piece of metallic fabric. And um, these are some leftover card stocks from other projects that I thought I would see if I could fit them in. Some cardboard I wanted to use. So at the end somewhere is actually my pages. Let's get to those. See if we can get, get some signatures going maybe. Do you remember me when I was uh, messing around with the new inks? That's the page that I did and I'm going to go ahead and put it inside of here because I thought it was cool. There's no sense to... <laughs> that one I don't know about. I don't know if I'm going to keep that one. This is what, what was uh, intended for the, the um, mermaid. And a glazoline bag I'm going to put in there. These, I'm going to back off of these for right now. I'm going to do something else with those, I think. This is a very large piece of light blue vellum. It's really, you hear that crinkle? Isn't that awesome? I'm going to put that in there because I really don't have anything else to do with it. And it's so big, it'll be perfect. 
junk mail, cardboard. This this is a page. This was for the mermaid. This is a page. So, and this and this would look... This, if I did this, it would look really good. That would look awesome. So those two. And then this is a page. I gotta figure out, you guys, how many... How many signatures am I gonna am I gonna put? I guess that looks okay. Into um, this journal, and how many? Those are my envelopes. I like this pink here, but let's see if we do it this way. Cause the other one, there we go. Um. I don't know if I like that one. I like those two together. Um, let's see if we can transition from this pink a little better. Put that there. Vellum cardstock. Is that the same as what you just held up? Um, it wasn't a cardstock, or it was just vellum. It, it's just a large piece of vellum, and I don't know how or why that it was um it what just one piece that's the thing jim will bring home stuff and it'll just be one piece i went to a secondhand store yesterday i was going to share my findings with you guys but i think i completely forgot i'm going to put this in but i'm putting it upside down because i'm crazy like that and i'm going to find a bigger page and then i think i'm going to call this one I'm going to call this a signature right now because I don't know where I'm going with these. I don't know how much. I don't know how much to put into each signature. That kind of cool with the green and then this blue looks nice with this green. So I'm going to do that. But actually, let's do the yellow. And then we will add this because the yellow and that will, will blend well. And let's see if we can pop this green off of there too. And I'll bring this one up and this one down. Oh, this is going to be so awesome, you guys. And then if I do this one, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. I don't know if I run out of pages. If I run out of pages, getting low, I'm going to have to do something. Because I don't like, maybe I'll just have to skip this one because I like this one. I like that. That's going to work. That's going to work really well. Oops. Get up there. And what I don't know is about this. I guess. I mean, it's not not terrible this has been gessoed so i get to decorate this one once i'm in there yes jody it's 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 uh because i'm using the jelly prints there's just in fact i could i have the i was gonna put some of these but they're so stiff i just don't know i mean but i was gonna put this mixed media paper in there to give me a blank a blank page to work with and then um, some probably some white cards well not white card stock I'll show you what I got I got a bunch of this stuff over here oh you guys are gonna be like what so this is what I have and I I went through my card stock and I decided I didn't need all of it. So I was going to put these in grab bags. And they're just big chunks of different card stocks. So I was going to take some out of it and put it in here. Because um, that's just a lot of card stock to get put into uh, um, grab bags. It'd be, it'd be, I don't know. Just be too much. So I thought that I would. Hi Kim. 
So I thought I would go through it a little bit and see if there's anything that might match what I'm working on. So right here, where's my other signature? I have a couple. This and this and this. You guys are going to be amazed when we flip through it and we get to see all these pages. All this color. Would it help if you put the media paper in as a single instead of a false one? That's a good idea, Jody. That's a good idea. Because I really am just, I, it's just really too thick to bend. So I'm going to do that. When, when and if I put it in there, I'll, uh, so I have those. So now, how tall did I say my book was? It's 11, right? Hi, Gwen. If it's 11 inches tall, let's see, that's a good one. Let's grab this one. Oh, I don't like those dots. But see, that's why, you know, you choose it. Oh, that's why it's in there. I don't want some flowers in there. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this one would look good with a few things. And this one might. What about the pink? Yeah, the pink will work. Okay, so I'll take these three for right now. And I'm going to cut an inch off the top. And you guys, I'm going to just wing it. I'm not even going to use a, a cutter or try to cut it straight or nothing. Um, I just know that the the book is 11 inches tall. So I need to have at least... And it's never good to cut that many. Have you ever tried to do that? You cut so many and then it bends. And some of them are cut right. Some of them aren't. There we go. That's good enough. I'll fix it when I have to. Okay, so now this one is awesome. I really like that. And where can I put that? I'm going to set this paper. I'm going to pull out this drawer. And then set this paper on this drawer down here so that I can reach it. Oh. And that leaves me... So these I'll just add. I'll uh, tape them together and add them like that. How long are these though? My rulers are way too, too uh, invisible. Okay, so I'm going to have to cut an inch off this one too. Well, that's not a problem at all. I can do that right here, right now. Okay, quarter, 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 quarter inch, I think. I don't know, honestly, if that's what it is. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> it's a little bit more. <laughs> Whatever I do, I just got to match it to this one, though. My dogs are out there barking at the neighborhood again. Let's see. Let's get this so that I can at least match it up a bit. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys... Um, I could take it over and sew it really quick, but I could do it both ways. I could do one with tape and one with sewing, so you could see putting them together. Come on, have a straight line for me. I am going to do something fun, and I'm going to put the little uh, broken edges on the outside and leave them there. Unless the book isn't that wide. I don't remember. I don't remember if I have to cut them off. I have to cut them off. I kind of want to keep them though. I'm going to go figure out how what Did I say the book was eight and a half? Does anyone remember what I said? Uh, oh, never mind. No, it's going to need a half inch off of it. So I'm just going to do that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something. I'm going to take off with a wave. There we go. That's what I'm going to do. Oh. <laughs> do you guys realize what a bonehead I am? Now I have two decorative edges and I can't tape it together. I'll tape that one in in a different way. I, I just am too creative for my own good. Right? I'm a bonehead. Okay, so. I'm going to get this ready. And I'm going to find a piece of fabric, you guys. And I'm going to jump off of this uh, camera for a minute and go right over there. 
and you'll still see me. I'll just have my back to you, and then I'll come back and show you what I've done. But I know I can do it with paper or fabric, and I think, you guys, I'm going to do it with paper because um, that will be easier, I think. So what I'm going to do... No, I have a fabric over there I'm going to use. I'll be right back. Oh, if you can see the floor right here, though, I have because I've been organizing things. <laughs> Pull out this chair. Get the stuff off the chair. Okay. So, turning it on. I have a lamp right here. I'm going to use this fabric uh, piece right here. Sew it on to the outside of this one. Or the inside. I'm going to sew it to the inside of this one. Let's see. I'm going to use a zigzag stitch. Putting it up a bit. one side. Now I'm going to bring the other one and I'm going to tape it going the other direction. No, not tape it. Sew it going the other direction. And try to get it to bend inside of my sewing machine area arm here. doesn't want to bend multimedia paper it's tough okay so I'm gonna clip this right at the bottom I'll make it all pretty when I get over there Just turn off my storm machine chair slid on me. There we go. So I had bought in this uh, two or two or three inch. I'm not sure. I use rulers every five seconds around here. Yep, this is uh, two inch um, kind of a burlap ribbon. And there's a really pretty print on it. So I grabbed that because it was already by the machine. And I sewed a zigzag, which um, because I have so much stuff over there, the uh, the paper kept hitting something and was uh, had to get the cats in for the night so the animals won't get them. Yes, definitely. Oh, goodness. Anyway, so my zigzag stitch is really uh, wonky, but I can easily, very easily, and I don't want to use anything really... Um, fancy because like I said I was going to multimedia on um, these pages so I'm looking through and I was going to try to use that um, uh, you know what's funny the only one that I that I don't see in here is the one that I wanted but I'll use the peacock one because I can't find the, the feathers one it's probably somewhere else but uh, this one's pretty and I'll just try to incorporate it into whatever I decide to do on this page. Ah, <laughs> he's saying hi. He was walking on the page or on the keyboard. That's cool. My dogs. Oh, if they could be down here with me, the things they would want to do. I put a gate up 
and uh, don't let them down here occasionally. When my husband is home on the evenings or weekends, I will let the larger dog, Molly, she misses being down here. She used to have, when I had my Scotties, they were all down here, always. We had beds on the floor for them, and they would just come down and go to sleep under the table on their bed. Um, and then Molly loves to be down here, but she, she likes to get in trouble, too, because she's always going to get her nose. She'll sit and just chew on the corner of a book, and I'll finally notice, because I'm busy or... Uh, I don't know, just didn't notice what she was doing until uh, I see the corner of the book is chewed up. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you can't be down here anymore if you're going to be like that. You could have stayed down here, laid down, and just been with me. But you just had to get in trouble. Remember, this is the Helmar 450 Quick Dry Adhesive. That's the one I always use um, for these type of things. I could get the, the Yoohoo out, but it... Uh, that one was there, and so that's what I used. Okay, so now I have the stitching covered up, only because stitching really on that side probably just in the, got a little bit crooked on this one. But now um, this side, I'm going to cut the threads. Cut the threads. And the ends. So you could cut a piece of paper two inches, not paper, but cardstock, um, and then give it a, you know, a bit of a bend in the, in the center. You could use uh, a piece of fabric. You could use the um, book binding tape. And then, and I forgot to cut the one inch off, didn't I? So now it's going to be too wide for my book, probably. I don't know. I'll figure it out one way or another, however it needs to be done. But now I have, isn't that lovely? Yeah, it's, um, it's this. It's, uh, I got it from China and it's burlap, fabric burlap trim ribbon something but it's so beautiful and I because you know all the time my thing uh for a long time has been a shabby chic feel so whenever I see stuff like that I grab it so um let's see this this uh paper might look good with, with that pink and if I do, let's see, I think it's eight and a half inches wide. Eight and a half for eight. I'm just going to do eight. I want to have tabs on, on the pages. Let's see. So I'll get this out to about there. Fold it down. I got to take an inch off the top of everything that I use. And then there we go. Now, yeah, see, I'm going to have to cut those off, but that's okay. I'll, I, you know what? I just uh, live and learn, live and learn. I get going too fast, especially in the evenings. Uh, my brain starts going faster than it should. And then I skip steps. And it's important for me to slow down and think about what I'm doing. And that's my story and I'm sticking to it <laughs> okay so I'm gonna put this one over here maybe if there's I think there's some pink on this side yeah right there that's a pretty pink and I want the long one on the other side and the short one here there we go so there's another thinner page without making it bulky and this i gotta find that other there it is so this has one two three this has a hard star or no that's a paper that's kind of a paper that's that's more like a paper that's two let's find something um let's put that vellum in there there we go there we go 
Um, this needs a bigger page in here too. But, boy, I like the way that looks together. Do you see that? Isn't that nice? Oh, look at there. We've got to take the 1999 scrapbooking paper. Cottage collection. Dark blue plaid. Isn't that funny? Um... Anything that I don't get right, I can trim up and fix, so I'm not worried about uh, edges that aren't perfect or anything that's just not the way that I, my brain works. So um, now I've got to remember that things are getting too tall here. Too, too tall. Okay, so I've got to cut off an inch at least off the top of this, which I think I might try to see if my rotor I don't know this isn't a rotary what is it it's a it's like a titanium blade um yeah no that says 11 right there so then what am I cutting off just this I guess hmm hmm <laughs> hmm Okay, so this one will need an inch off of it. Oh, I cut it off when I cut that. I don't know. I don't know why it showed us. I don't know. Okay, so now I could add this. That would look nice with the peacock. Is that? Yeah, okay. Okay, so there's that. Now I have, I wanted this against this pink. I thought that was pretty. So what do I have here? I have two signatures. These could be two signatures. And what I need to have happen, though, is I need to make more pages. And I'm going to show you something here. So I need this to be 11 inches tall. Oh, it's already been cut. And I want to take two of these. They don't have to match at all. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to wing it like I always do, ladies. We're just going to cut that right off again. Okay, so now, if I want to have, I want 8 inches here, so, but then I need 9 inches, so I want to cut this off at 9 inches. So now, I usually um, have near me, right here, a scoreboard, which you guys is so dirty. I used to do everything on this. This used to be my main work, work, work surface. And so I, um, it's really messy. It's really, really, really messy. So, but what I want to do is I want to score this at an inch, wherever. Wherever I can find a number. And this little thingy is inside of here. And if I look at the lines, they're lining up pretty well. I'm going to go to here and I'm going to score this. Make sure. 
Two. Okay, so now I want this bent. I want this folded over where that score line is. So I'm, ta I'm taking two 12 by 12s. I cut I'm one inch off the top because that's what I need to have. And now I'm going to glue together these two flaps. And that's going to be my book page. One there, one there. So I'm going to glue this one. And I'm not getting real precise about anything because um, mostly I'm just going to rush and my brain isn't working like that. It's working like this. So winging it, it is. Because this isn't going to be the most important part of the book. And it's just one page um, in my very own personal journal. So if I have to, I can cut off as much as I want to make it perfect. It can end up being... Five inches tall, if that's as tall as it ends up getting after I get done, huh? Making everything perfect. I cut, I measure none and cut seven times when I'm in this frame of mind. But this is how I also can do, um, you can uh, make a, a uh, cardboard box, cereal box. Let's say you don't want a two inch spine. Say you want a one inch spine. You do this same type of technique and you can create a one inch spine with the um, cardboard box. You just cut it, score it, and then um, trim it, or glue it and then trim it. Okay, so now I can cut all of this maybe. This blade is probably, um, this blade is probably dull, but I can probably get somewhat of a straight line here. There we go. Just cut all that off damage that I did earlier. Make it all as straight as possible. Good, Jody. I'm glad. I try. I try every time we do these. You know, I love doing the socializing. I will socialize all the time. But I find that if I keep my hands moving and keep focused on doing something, then at least we all we all came away with something. Okay. So now this is my center point of my pages. So now I have basically a layout, but now I don't like how that looks. So what I do is I come in and uh, put some washi tape on it. And you can do another piece, like you could use a piece of the paper that you cut off of something else. You could lay that down. You could do uh, a punch on the edge. Um, I have one right, where did I put that thing? I might've put it away, but I had one here that um here it is so say i wanted to i wanted to um create something pretty i'm not going to do the whole thing but i will show you what i was referring to come on <laughs> wasn't letting go so let's say you come along and then you can use this piece of paper and you can go over it like that so you can do some really pretty stuff you could use lace you could use ribbon. You could use anything that you can get stuck down. But a lot of times, just to make it simple, I usually just grab some uh, washi tape that looks nice with it. I put the glue right over that seam. And then I put my washi tape down. And this washi tape, I got lucky. Look how cute it looks with those. Uh, actually, is adorable right there. And I won't mind having the accent it actually adds to the page so now i come over here now this one's going to be just as uh just as nice it's going to have the same uh combination of colors that i needed to make the green and the burgundy come together so i got lucky oh, come on. every time i pull i always end up letting go of it it's just part of my charm. Let's put it, let's, let's just call it that for now instead of clumsy or awkward. Part of my charm to know that I will let go of it every time. Okay, so now I have a really awesome uh, extended page here where I can put this in one of my signatures. Or I could start a new signature, but I'm going to add this one right here so you can kind of see 
Now, I think I ended up making it an inch shorter. So you can do your measurements right. No, I made it exactly eight inches. Okay, so all of this has got to get cut off, I think. I think I've mismeasured some, mis something out here. Yeah, that's nine inches. That's not supposed to be nine inches. I'll figure that part out. Won't be a problem at all. That's a nice solid page to put. Um, like, see, this is the thing. When I get my, my letters, you guys, look. I get to put them on these beautiful pages. I could put them on here. Oh, I'm just, I just can't wait. I really, I need to just get this thing done because I'm so excited. I've been stirring up a few things to, to get uh, going on. I'm going to do a couple, let's see. I don't want anything too loud. I got a, a nice blue in here I could work with. There's two blues actually. Let's use these two together real quick and I will... Um, see what I can figure out. There's a bergen or a plum in there too. These are all going into, um, they're all going to go into this month. Not right now, but after I'm not busy with everything else this month, um, I'm going to do another set of a live set of uh, grab bags. Get some more stuff going out the door. So now I um, made that 11 inches tall. So I'm going to be bending it this way. But I have to decide is how I'm going to attach this one because I've shown you the sewing one and then the gluing one. And so let's just cut this at eight inches. So if this is how long? If this is 12, just under 12, cut off four inches. Use a lot math a lot more than I planned. That's what was really hard for me with quilting was um, how much math I needed sometimes. Oh, little squares. Hi, Maria. So we're just working on that junk journal of mine that I'm going to get started. So now these two are this are the um these two are the size that I need to have one page uh, on each side. And I've lost my ruler. I didn't lose it, just buried it. And now I have an 11 by 8. Close enough. Now, let's do this. Now, this is a pretty blue. What could I... Let's see what I have in my, my drawer. Let's use this teal. Which is actually kind of weird. It's sticky on both sides. So I'm not sure if maybe I should use that. Maybe not. I don't know what he... He found something that... Okay, this will work really well. Look at this. This is like a fun Native American tribal thing. So the thing about the washi tape is if you put it on both sides with, with, the, with um, the glue... You can, I've sewn through it and, uh, had the, had the, uh, it stayed. It didn't tear out of the book. Come on. Maybe I should just use the, the Yoohoo. That might be a better plan. I already got this far with it. Okay. Now I'm going to tape these together. There we go. And then you want to make sure and do the other side. And I always use the glue. I just wouldn't trust washi tape without the glue. Or uh, stick glue or something, you know. I just... I haven't had a good 
good success with washi tape without glue on it. Okay, so there we go. Now that paper is now ready to be folded in half and used in the journal. So you can find it, uh, a way to put any size paper into your journal. Uh, what you can do, there's going to be one more way I'm going to show you guys something, and then I'm going to probably get off here and go hang out with the hubby. Um, I'm going to put this in here by this blue one. I think that will look nice. So let's say, and I did this in Madison's journal. Let's say I don't like having this short page right here. Okay. So let's say I want, there's a page that I, that I want to put in there that is um well, i could even do it with this but i wanted it to be a taller piece let's let's do it with this one this one has a little bit of pink in it that'll look pretty okay so let's say i want this page in my book right so engrossed i'm watching good <laughs> I'm engrossed. I keep forgetting to look up. These colors are all starting to look really good together. And you see how I have just absolutely random, bold, bright things that are all just going to flow. Well, it doesn't, this is going to be the most problematic right here. Uh, and I'm going to probably just cover it up so I don't have to worry about it. I don't like the dots like that, but I liked the green so I can work it out. So anyways, this is what I'm going to do. I've done this before. I've done this in Madison's journal. Let me see about my width. I think that's, I think this is not, not over eight inches. Nope, it's just under. So I'm going to glue this page to this right at this area here in a decorative way. So now I'm going to do this. Just because this one's here, I have other ones. I could do uh, all kinds of different edges. Um, these I get um, clearance. I very rarely will buy. I, I don't know that I've ever bought anything except for the circle punch, maybe for the ATCs uh, at a price that I wasn't thrilled with because punches are a luxury. Okay, so there's that. Isn't that pretty? Now I'm going to take it. Did I get something on there? I did. I don't know. I don't know. Now, you know what I could do too? Let's do it this way. And I have not done this before, but I really like doing new things with you guys. So I've decided right now, right this second, I'm gonna make a pocket out of this. So I'm gonna take the glue and I'm gonna go up this side and up this side. And I'm not gonna go across the top and I'm gonna put glue right here in this space because that it can still have a pocket and have some glue at that end right there, right? So now I'm gonna push this down and I'm gonna secure it, right? Now, remember, we, 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 this isn't, this, this is because we wanted to add a page, but I actually added two pages because what I did here is I put this, which I got to make sure I'm going to have to put some washi tape on there because it's it's not a very, um, I, sh I should have used a cardstock page for that technique, but uh, I liked that pink and it worked so well. So I was just, I probably won't put uh, anything in that pocket that would make it struggle. Anyways, I'll be careful. And um, I'll put this washi tape right here and I'm just going to come up to that edge and put washi tape right here as you can see through it i kind of want to try to get it straight if i can okay so we have this pocket here which is a very delicate pocket i wouldn't recommend you use that type of paper to do it right and what where where our um middle is I'll show you the middle this is the middle right so but look at this this page now that's not being sewn in okay that's that's not getting sewn in that's just glued onto that other page 
this is sewn in, this is sewn in, this is sewn in, this is sewn in, and so on and so on until you get to the center. So, and I, I think I've done this wrong. Yeah, somehow I, I ended up, I don't know, maybe I don't realize how wide my book is, but um, it's somewhere between eight, eight, nine inches, I think. But I really liked this uh, yellow jelly print with this uh, yellow paper, cardstock actually. So, and I'll figure out a, a more decorative center than what I've got there. And then this page, look at that, look at those together, you guys. Then we come in with some blue. Then we come in with some purple, but there's just enough blue in here to make that work. Then this is a white, white uh, text page, so that's fine. Then we've got some pinks and uh, greens, and then greens and pinks over here and so on and so on and it just keeps going and then we have this page we just put in so uh jody did you did that work so that's what's that that's sewing the pages together gluing the pages together taping the pages together and now you can uh, add two pages a two-fold page or a folded page in by gluing it to one of the pages that's being sewn in okay so that's that's awesome you guys we we did a lot. How am I ending up? Yeah, it's my orange one that's nine. That's what keeps messing me up. This is just a when I was doing um when I was doing alcohol inks, this is just the page that was underneath me. But I want it to be in there because I'm gonna keep everything good. I'm so glad. So so glad. That's awesome. So I'm gonna go, guys. Uh we have we have a lot. We got done. And thank you so much for inspiring me. Because you know what? I just kept sitting on my butt. And I was not getting it done. And now I am I am like way far into my process. How many signatures did I, did I actually do though? I think I still only worked on two. But I have enough here underneath here to do another one. And so, but look at that. I got a lot started. And these are the kind of pages that's going to be uh, really inspiring. Like, uh, just imagine what, what I'm going to think up to do with some of this stuff. And, uh, but I'm going to, I'm going to put, what I'm going to, what my plan is, is to put like things on top of these. I won't alter these in, at all, but I'm going to continue to do weird things, uh, collaging or spraying them or doing whatever, whatever comes up. But, uh, okay, well, I'm going to say goodbye, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me over here on YouTube. This was fun. And I'm going to say it, although I know you have, because I can see the thumbs up. But if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Hit the bell to get notified. And give me a thumbs up if you liked this or you got uh, some information out of it that was helpful. You guys have a wonderful evening, and I'm going to talk to you later. Bye-bye. How do I live? How do I end live streaming now? I've got to figure this out, ladies. I found it. Bye, guys.